C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. On the Central Hill Estate, the biting cold of the wintry season swept through the great and small kingdoms of the northwest part of the continent with a strong, crushing force, and then the snow began to fall, and soon the world was white and dreamy, like a serene and serene painting of Ink.G City, although the snow was not big, it was already made out of jade and was silvery white. The entire common people of the G City were cheering and jumping in joy, happily welcoming the first snowfall of the year. However, within the Prince Chi Palace of the third Prince Chui Xuan, it was incredibly quiet, quiet and frightening quiet, and so cold that it was astonishing, outside the palace, a slim and graceful woman in white stood under the steps. Although it was already winter, she still wore very thin clothes. Her facial features were very beautiful and delicate, but her small, fair face was already so cold that it was completely devoid of blood. The tip of her small nose had turned red from the cold. Even though the maidservant behind her held up an umbrella for her, there was still a thin layer of white snow that fell on her face and body, falling on her long eyelashes due to her thin clothes, her body was trembling slightly and she occasionally coughed a few times. However, she bit her lips and endured it. The faint tears in her eyes revealed her patience, stubbornness and perseverance. The green dot clothed servant girl behind him was dressed in thin clothes and was trembling all over. The umbrella was placed on the body of the person in front of her, and most of the snow fell on her body, causing her to feel even more bone dot piercing cold. The green dot clothed servant girl pleaded in a low voice, Princess, the prince won't see us. Let's go back to the house. The woman in white didn't respond, as if she hadn't heard anything, the green dot robed servant girl said softly, Princess, shall we go back? The woman in white still didn't answer. She merely coughed a few times. Her pale lips were already starting to ooze blood, the green dot clad servant girl was on the verge of tears. Princess, if this goes on, the princess will freeze to death. What if the princess was frozen to death? Let's go back to the house, princess. No. She replied in a low voice, her voice trembling slightly. It was filled with heartbreaking sorrow, but also an indescribable persistence. I want to see my prince. I want to prove my innocence, princess. The green dot robed servant girl began to cry, the tears that had flowed down his face were quickly frozen on his green clothes, turning into two ice dot cold beads, coughing sounds could be heard at times, and at times, the foot of the hall returned to tranquility. One white and one green figures were like sculptures, not moving a single inch, and even time seemed to have stopped with them. Everyone in the Duke palaces knew that was seeking an audience outside the Great Hall, but no one talked about it. It was completely unlike the usual situation when people from the East Rooms, the West Rooms, and the rumors were flying everywhere. Of course, everyone in the Duke Palace knew exactly how Su Roji had angered the Duke. Su Roji had always been treated unfavorably by the Duke ever since she entered the Duke. Now, she actually committed such a crime and was not punished by the Emperor because, as the father of the crown's master, she begged for forgiveness in front of the Emperor. And now, she actually still had the delusions of asking the prince for forgiveness, even the little flame girl in the Duke Palace knew that if Su Roji wanted to seek the forgiveness of the Duke, not only did she not even have a door, she wouldn't even be able to open a window. However, Su Roji stubbornly waited at the foot of the stairs in the main hall. Even though the snow was falling harder and harder, until her embroidered shoes were covered with snow, she still maintained the same posture and didn't move an inch, finally, the patient cough stopped. Princess Chi's pale face slowly fell to the ground. Her thin and slender body swayed for a moment the whole world seemed to have stopped moving just like that. In the end, what fixed itself in Su Roji's eyes, was the five tightly shut doors, even if she died in front of the great hall, he would still remain stone cold. He wouldn't even give her a chance to explain herself. Endless darkness quickly engulfed Su Roji and enveloped the entire world. So cold, so cold, the green dot clothed servant girl who had her eyes opened wide and tightly hugged Su Roji's fallen body. The body of the Wangfei was already as cold as the ice and snow beneath her feet. After the shock, 
the green dot clothed servant girl let out a mournful cry. Princess, everything was disappearing, slowly disappearing, standing amidst the endless snow and ice, Chiu felt that her body was so cold. So cold, that her heart almost stopped beating, only within her heart, there was still the sound of despair echoing in her heart. It was accompanied by the surrounding noise, accompanied by her comrades' urgent calls for her, yet she was powerless to respond. Was he going to die just like that, died on the spot while he was on a mission, she, a small military doctor who had just been admitted into the military academy for two years, had actively participated in the terror relief operations in Bien Jai. She had wanted to use her small body to burn off her energy to do something that no one else dared to do, yet it had positive meaning. She remembered that she had just saved a young life and was about to save the wounded man who was about to disappear from her sight when an unblockable bullet pierced through her chest and quickly solidified the blood flowing through her body. How can this be? How could she die? The injured person was still waiting for her help, she hasn't graduated from her military academy yet. She still had a lot of things to do, therefore, how could she just die like that? Dot, a furry object reached towards Princess Chi's nose, and something that was like a feather touched the tip of Princess Chi's nose, Madam, there's no more breath. Are you sure there's no more aura? Yes, nothing happened. In the ice.cold snow, Su Roji was lying on top of the green.clothed servant girl, she hugged Su Roji tightly, in disbelief, it was real. No more auras. No, Princess. The green dot clothed servant girl cried, her cry piercing through her heart and lungs. What are you crying for? This slut tried to poison the prince. She should have died in the first place, so who would dare cry for her? A young woman wearing a golden lich dot colored brocade dress frowned as she coldly reprimanded the green dot clothed servant girl, the green. Clothed servant girl stopped crying, but she was unable to stop her tears. Her tears flowed down line by line, all falling onto the front of her clothes, falling onto Su Roji's shoulders and turning into water, turning into ice, she hugged Su Roji tightly in tears. Suddenly, she felt Su Roji's fingers move slightly, she was shocked and immediately stopped crying, the blue dot robed servant quickly stretched out the feather duster, causing its dazzling feathers to slightly flap. He exclaimed, there's still air. There's still air. The young lady looked down at Su Roji condescendingly, her eyes filled with hate and anger, she gritted her teeth. She's not dead yet. The green dot clad servant girl wailed, Madam, the Wang Fei isn't dead. I beg you to save her, save her ah. Shut up. The young woman said harshly, Bitch, you want to poison your highness, but you dare to plead on her behalf. What is your ladyship going to do? Chin Yi asked nervously, the young lady said coldly. Isn't Su Roji's father the crown's master? Relying on his eastern palace master's support, you dare to ask the emperor for Su Roji's death sentence to be pardoned. What, could it be that the life of my prince is not as valuable as the life of this slut? Chin Yi understood, her eyes flashing with a flattering light. Of course, this slut's life cannot compare with our noble prince's. This servant will make her disappear just like that. The green dot clothed servant girl was scared out of her wits as she cried out, Madam, you can't. It can't be like this. It's impossible for the Wang Fei to poison the Wang Fei. It must be a misunderstanding. The emperor has already promised to exempt the Wang Fei from her crimes. My lady, you mustn't let her die. Shut up. The young woman said harshly once again, if you dare to beg again, I will kill you with me. The green dot robed servant girl instantly didn't dare to make a sound, only letting out tears. The young woman slowly stood up and glanced at the pale dot faced woman in white. She sneered, bitch, you've always been in poor health, always holding the medicine jar like it was a candy. You've been standing in the snow for so long. Even if her aura does not dissipate now, I am afraid she will not be able to hold on for long. Then, shall I let her feel the cold of the sky and earth again? As you wish. The young woman slowly turned around and walked towards the main hall that I and the main hall, a young man dressed in a dark-colored robe, 
wearing a calm and indifferent expression, was sitting in front of a yellow rosewood table with lowered eyebrows as he slowly sipped some fragrant tea, his slender fingers gently twirled the teacup, the yellow tea soup was suffused with a light mist which coiled around his face, making it impossible to see his expression clearly. All the servants could see was his cold figure, as if nothing could move him at all. Prince Chi, Su Liao, her face was currently filled with a triumphant smile, she sat down next to the man, and the maidservant next to her immediately poured her steaming tea. She extended her pure white fingers and held on to the teacup, her gaze landing on Su Roji who was standing outside the hall. She smiled slightly, once this eyesore dies and the prince releases himself, we will be free. Very quickly, a group of green dot clothed attendants pulled away the green dot clothed servant girl, causing Su Roji to fall heavily onto the snow. Her snow dot white clothes and the pure white snow melted into one, and if not for her messy black hair falling on the snow, it was almost impossible to tell who she was and where she was, carrying the hot tea out of the hall, Su Liao frowned slightly. Suddenly, a cup of hot tea splashed onto Su Roji's body. The green dot clothed female servant who was pressed down by the green dot clothed attendant on the wall at the side immediately covered her mouth, tears gushing out from her eyes, could it be that the usual mockery, ridicule, and rejection, wasn't it enough? The princess was about to be frozen to death, so was the Mrs. Su still going to humiliate the princess body like this that it was as if Su Liao couldn't quell her hatred by pouring herself a cup of tea. She grabbed the teapot from the servant girl's hands and threw it towards Princess Chi with a hua sound. The green dot clothed servant girl pressed against the wall, wow, began crying that is so painful, the intense pain made Chi Yu abruptly sit up. Wasn't she already dead? Why did she feel pain, his entire stomach and chest ached from being scalded? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.